Welcome to the wonderful world of chemistry. Today, with the help of Chemistry of Materials by Mel Chemistry, you will learn how to obtain plastic from a usual potato. Perform this experiment on a plastic tray to contain any possible spills. Don't forget to put on protective gloves and goggles before doing the experiment. To open a bottle containing a reagent, push the cap down and turn it. Pierce the bottle nozzle with an unbent paper clip. For the potato plastic experiment, you will need the solution of citric acid, the coloring methylene blue, the solution of glycerol, thermo stickers, a syringe without a needle, plastic stirring rod and spoon, a mold, three candles, a sock, a solid fuel stove and flame diffuser, a beaker, one potato, a bowl, a vegetable grater and some matches. Take a bowl and grate a potato into it. Add a beaker of water and mix the contents using the plastic spoon for five minutes. Slip the sock onto the beaker. It will serve as a filter for potato cuttings. Carefully pour all the liquid from the bowl into the sock. Then remove the sock and squeeze all the liquid in it into the beaker. Wait for about five minutes to let the precipitate settle on the bottom of the beaker. This precipitate is starch, which will be a base for our plastic. Now heat the reaction mixture. First, take the solid fuel stove and attach the thermo sticker to it. Take off the protective gloves. Put three candles into the stove. Light them and cover the stove with the flame diffuser. Put on the protective gloves again. Add 10 milliliters of water and two to three drops of methylene blue into the beaker. Then pour in all of the contents of the bottles with glycerol and citric acid. Put the beaker onto the flame diffuser. Mix the contents using the plastic rod for three to five minutes. The mixture will thicken and turn into one big lump. Keep stirring the mixture for 15 to 20 minutes more until it becomes fluid. Then pour the liquid into the mold provided and wait for two to four hours till the mixture solidifies. Now remove the molded figure. You have made a penguin out of a potato. Under the action of citric acid and when heated, potato starch changes its structure and becomes moldable. When we pour the mixture into the mold, it begins to solidify while glycerol does not let it dry completely and crumble. You can also use powdered starch that can be found in artisan and organic shops. In this case, you should start the experiment directly from the heating of the mixture. Learn more about this experiment on our Mel Science website.